Hello Disney fans, my name is Haley and welcome back to the Disney Cupcake channel. Happy Friday! It is Mandalorian day and wow what a season two it has been. I'm looking forward to tonight, I'm going to watch it and I cannot wait to share my thoughts with you on tomorrow's live stream. Make sure to join me here on YouTube at 2 p.m. Eastern time. It's going to be a whole holiday hot chocolate party. I'm going to be talking about all of the new Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar movies and shows that were recently announced. There is a lot to go over. There's a lot of fun stuff to talk about, so make sure to join me there. Also, I cannot believe that Christmas is one week from today. Christmas is next week. Cannot believe it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel down below so you do not miss my Disney Christmas haul and a very special announcement coming up at the beginning of the year. There are so many fun things happening. I am wearing my food merch, which is always a good day, and we're gonna be checking out some food merch. They recently released these Funko Pops on Funko Shop like a week and a half ago. It was a super random release. They announced it like day of, so make sure to check Funko's Instagram to see releases like that. It was released on Funko's website, as I mentioned, and they're already on sale at Funko HQ. So if you live near the official Funko store, go there if you can and check out the special limited pops. Like they're already discounted there, which I cannot believe. All right, here they are. They're in different boxes this time. Wait a second. I am so glad they released these, although they released them kind of late, but I'm so glad that they made these gingerbread Funko Pops. Let me open up the other one real quick. They are themed to Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And after we go through them, I'm going to show where I put them in my room. And I also wanted to give another update of the Christmas display because yes, it's still going to be up for a little bit longer, but it's not really going to be as like fun and festive because Christmas will be over. So at the end here, I'll show where I'm going to put these little guys and I'll also give a quick little room tour update of the things because a lot has changed since the room. The first Funko Pop we have is Pop number 994, the Funko Shop Limited Edition Gingerbread Mickey Mouse. The box to this one looks very similar to all of the other holiday pops that I have checked out this month. As you can see, they're listed on the back. Some of the other characters they also have available. Very, very interesting. I kind of wish they did like a cutesy gingerbread box, but at the same time, I do like how this kind of connects the entire series together. And I wanted to show pulling this one out of the box because this is not what I expected. I thought that this was going to be like a normal Funko Pop that just had gingerbread texture, but no, it looks like a cookie. I, that just makes my day. I don't know why little food things that aren't real but they look like food. That's just the cutesiest little thing. This gingerbread Mickey Mouse, as I mentioned here, is like a flat, like squished pop. It is a nice brown textured plastic. It has a nice flat bottom, so it stands up very nicely. And he has these lifted layers of royal icing piped on him. He has his nice little Santa hat, his cute little face, a actually really detailed sweater, his little hands, he has little like marshmallow pom-poms for his pants, and he's actually holding a little 3D candy cane. And there on the back, you can also see some of the texture that this pop has too. I love how it is like cut out like a cookie. The little icing details are shiny, so they're like reflective, and the actual cookie itself is not, so there were a lot of really great details that they took into account for this pop. And of course, we need Funko Pop number 995, Gingerbread Minnie Mouse Funko Shop Limited Edition to go with him. This one has the same idea, just like a flat gingerbread cookie 
pop, so awesome. She's also wearing her little Santa hat, has all the same little royal icing details and textured cookie elements. She has a super detailed body, her gloves, her little skirt, all of the fun little ugly sweater print, and she is holding a cookie version of a stocking, which I think is super cute because it's just all these cookies making up this character. Love the details. I don't even know what else to say. Th these are so neat. A very unique Funko Shop item. I love whenever Funko Shop makes things like this because it is something you can only get there. It's like Funko's own fun special twist on the pops that they already make. So big fan of these. After taking these out of the box, filming the video, taking the pictures for Instagram, the videos for TikTok, after taking the boxes and putting them in my storage area, it's now time to find these pops a happy home. These pops will most likely be put back with my Christmas stuff. They won't be kept out all year round. So whenever the collection video comes around, if for some reason they're not included, they're still here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add these into my little food display because love my little food display and that way they're front and center since they are brand new. Sometimes they will have to like fully rearrange the shelf depending on the item, but it looks like there are actually spots for both of these, which is perfect. They're so beautiful. I always like whenever I get new items, I try to cram them in for like the time that the display is up like next year, whenever I pull those out of the bin again, I'm gonna be super excited to see them and then I can better incorporate them into the display. So although it may not be perfect right now, they're so cute and I'm glad that they are front and center since they are, they're new. I don't know what I'm saying. On the topic of new things, earlier I mentioned the Mandalorian. Yes, make sure to check out my Instagram right here and I'm doing a special Mandalorian giveaway in honor the end of season two, just the hype of everything. The giveaway is the Child Funko Pop and the lightsaber key. So awesome. So make sure to check out that giveaway. It ends this weekend. That will be linked down below. My Instagram is right here and we're really close to 6K. So it's also like a 6K giveaway and I'm almost to 50K on TikTok. So I just wanna thank you all so much for that, for following me there as well, is greatly, greatly appreciated. Continuing around my room, I did want to point out the newest Happy Meal toy. Now, I, I know the video kept getting delayed for the Walt Disney World toys. They stopped selling them now, so I had to order the last one on eBay. So that did not go as planned at all. I was hoping to pick up like another set or some of the characters from another set and then leave those ones in their bags but they just stopped selling them. Whenever they were recalled, they're just like, you know what, forget it, let's just start the new thing. And I'm like, wait a second, hold on, let me finish the set. But you know, it happened, it's over now. Some places still have them, but it's, it's, it's done. So there's a little announcement for that, but the new toys are out. Uh, when I was looking for the last one, I came upon these and I was like, what is happening here? They now have soul toys at McDonald's. The box, just like the Walt Disney World box, is beautiful. Love the logo. Although one thing, this box is also misprinted. I don't think they're going to recall them because of that. And it says only in theaters, but it's only on Disney Plus now. <sighs> 2020, man. Um, and then it also has another cute little side, like cutout activity, fun little images. I'm very excited to see this on Disney Plus, and I'll be talking about that more tomorrow in the live stream. But I did want to just show real quick here. This is just like an update video of new things and what's happening. Happy Meal, number one. This is new, noob. I don't know how to say it, but he's adorable. I was kind of surprised that they chose to do these for the Soul toys. This looks exactly like the Pixar ones they were releasing over the summertime. Very interesting. Although really cute because it looks like it's part of the same series. So they're just a fun little keychain. Love little plushy keychains. These will look cool. If you collect them all, they're all fun rainbow, like on a Disney bag or something. That would look super cutesy. So I'll show these again in the live stream tomorrow too, and we can chat about that. 
Also, I wanted to mention here for those who may not be tuning into the live stream, the Soul Key comes out on December 31st here in the US on Shop Disney, 7 a.m. Pacific time. If you're interested in that, I'll be trying to pick that up. I did order some of the other keys that came out, which should be coming soon. That will be in a haul video very soon. There's haul videos here like every single week. So. There's just a lot coming, a lot happening. And with that said, the Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction collection has also kind of reappeared on Shop Disney too. So if you're missing anything, I would check Shop Disney like every single morning, every single afternoon, they kind of come up sometimes. Again, there's no set schedule. I have no inside information. It's just been happening. Don't know why, but if you're missing something, just check it out. <laughs> As I said, we're gonna do a quick little pan around my room. I'm gonna show some of the other new items that I have found spots for recently. I'm still doing the Pixar Minis Advent Calendar. Of course, here on day 17 is the day that I'm filming this. So much fun. I post over on Instagram and on TikTok what I get every single day, along with my child advent calendar too. So if you want to see more of the items I get, make sure to check that out. Here's a look at some of the items I got the past couple of days. I got the really awesome Onward minis, which I do not have yet. They're so, so adorable. So much Pixar stuff. I'm definitely going to need to do a Pixar display soon. And as far as the little kind of pan around here, nothing really new with the shelves. They're so much fun. I love looking at them. I love all the fun colors. The lights, I do have to say, they're starting to dim. I need to replace the batteries here before Christmas. But I loved having them on the timer. They were so, so beautiful. I added my little child from Target in this little stocking. So he's just loving life right there some other items set about some of the tokyo items i got recently i kind of just have those set about right now because normally in the spring i do like a whole tokyo disney parks display so those will be better incorporated in the display whenever that time comes but for now i just kind of put them all about so we have more little tokyo things set in here with the mcdonald's toys for disneyland and as i mentioned before i did pre-order the walton castle pop which should be coming sometime in January, which I could do a video on. The retro shelf has remained the same. I added the Pluto Pop here from the box from Amazon on this display, along with some cards that I've received back there. Very nice. And then here are two new little gingerbread guys living the dream inside of the food display. One of my favorites, I think, so far this holiday time love the tree still love having it on so very gorgeous i'll have linked down below my ornament collection videos i just posted the other one yesterday showing my family's ornament collection so that's a whole collection you guys haven't even seen before so that will be linked down below for you and then here at the bottom i put some of the other tokyo disney items i got because those were gifts that i received here for the holiday so i figured just kind of make them little gifts as they are here all around, I kind of made a little display out of everything. They're just kind of hanging out. They look like little gifts under the tree, as they were for me. All of these items are still the same. I did add the American Eagle plush to this stocking, just to make it cute, look like it's all ready to be opened up. These items are all still hanging out over here. I did add the Mickey Mouse from the box here too. And then behind him, I also have the Donald and Daisy figures I just received too. And then turning this way on my H, I've been putting the figures from the advent calendar kind of all around this H. These ones are all kind of duplicates, so they're just kind of filling in the spots currently. I put some of my new 20th pins up there, some of my favorites just kind of filling the space. And then one thing I need to figure this out, uh, this, I'll need to do a whole nother, uh, video about this because I don't know where to put the keys. <laughs> they are just stacked up to the shelves. Some of them are sideways, upside down. And there's, like, I think, like, three more keys on the way. So I need to find them a happy home, too. I'd like to make a display for them in the future, but in this room, there's just no more space to hang these things. So for now, 
this is what we're dealing with. You can still see them all, which is the, the goal. So I'm happy about that. There's also snow outside. You can't even see anything out there because snow. I did add my other Run Disney medal here hanging on the curtain. Really, really awesome. Cannot wait to add another one to that. And then I won't know where to put that either. And then we have the other keys. These are all the keys I have. I believe I have 21 keys now, which I'll do a whole nother informational collection video on these because there are so many coming out and I think that they will continue to come out next year. And if not, like, there'll be even more than there was this year. So definitely looking for a fun way to display those here in the future as more arrive. We have our cutesy little plush hanging out. The child, I was about to say his name, but I won't spoil it. And then we have our characters over here. And then lastly, I totally forgot to show this side, the pin banner. Just got a huge rearrangement because the pin board is full. So we're trying to make this banner last as long as it possibly can. <laughs> so here's just a quick pan through. I reorganized them kind of tight together. Um, there are some in my pin folios now, which I love too. So I think we'll be resorting to that now. And then possibly to a pin book because, like I said earlier, a pin board, an additional pin board hanging on this wall. I just don't know if that'd be the best option <laughs> as far as how much stuff is on the wall, if that makes sense. So that is my Funko gingerbread little haul, little life update. I would like to do these kind of things more often, maybe more of like a vlog type thing and not like a review attached to it. I just wanted to throw those updates into this video because I know many people do click on the Funko videos and do enjoy watching those. So this will hopefully provide some more information of some other fun things coming out along with fun ways to display your holiday items. I cannot wait to chat with you all tomorrow and if you're watching this video after Saturday, December 29th, I will do more live streams every other Saturday. I post videos here weekdays at 2 p.m. Eastern time so there's plenty of time to chat and catch up on the newest items. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!